All right, let's do a mic check. Can you guys hear me okay? Cyan, you can hear me, that's good. Bakery, you can hear me, good. All right, we'll get started in just a second. guys hope you guys are doing well uh, let me turn the music down it has been a little while since we've streamed quite a while actually hello everybody hope you're doing well some new faces here I think some new members high kick you joined pretty recently Welcome to the membership crew and the stream. Is this your first stream? I think it's a few people's first stream. Yeah, it has been a long time, Bakery. I think the last time I streamed, man, it was Burning Shores, of course. But then I got COVID, and then I got food poisoning, and then my house got messed up because of power surges, and... Like, so much stuff has happened since the last time I streamed with you guys. Um, I'm just getting my gear set up here. And then, so I think what we're going to do today is, let's take a look at progress here. Make sure I'm on the right save, actually. Yeah, so, Burning Shores is all done. We did that together on stream before. And then... I have because I you know I restarted this from the start for um, before we did Burning Shores. I still need to finish up a bunch of stuff to get my main save here back to 100% in the main game. So I think we probably have like some Rebel camps, um, one or two Gauntlet runs, a bunch of like black boxes and stuff like that. So we'll do that for a couple hours probably. Have to kind of run around and clean up things and then. It, to just to make it more interesting, I'll probably, like, fight machines as I go. You know, if there's a big machine in the area or a group, we'll clear them out. So we have some, some entertainment, and I'm not just grabbing survey drones and stuff like that. Um, and then after, like, an hour and a half or two of that stuff, I think I'm going to go and try and improve my arena times. I've definitely fallen behind on those. So I want to see, I'd really like to get top three in every challenge. I mean, I'd like to be top one, right, of course. I don't know if Fancy Pants or Wallison are here, but um, I'd like to get all the challenges to be one, two, three. You know, Fancy Pants, Wallison, and myself would be really cool in whatever order. You guys let me know if the stream audio is okay. I'm going to turn up the game audio a little bit. I think it's a little bit quiet. But I have a new new audio set up here, so hopefully we can get things dialed in. Alright, so I have my two. I don't need this. I want the Karja's Bane. Spike thrower, and then I think we're good. Audio's perfect, good to hear. Fall neck, yeah. The arena challenges are very tough, even on normal, for sure. And food poisoning is rough, yeah. I got it right after I had COVID, which 
I got better from COVID for like three or four days maybe, and then I got food poisoning. Not a good, not a good couple weeks. <laughs> Don't think Fancy Pants is human. He's human. He's just very good at the arena. Wallace and two. Hey, Twinch. Good to see you here. Glad you could drop in. Do we have any quests to do? Let's see. I think we might have finished uh, we might have finished all the salvage contracts I'm not sure did we do all the rain trace ones yeah who has two thumbs in his weird on coffee you're hyped up on coffee twinge looks like we have a relic ruin we can do over here Labin, um, yeah. Forbidden West is only on PlayStation right now. Hopefully the PC port will come soon. Maybe by the end of the year? An old world ruin built into the cliff. I wonder what's inside. There's some kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. This one you can uh, you can cheese it pretty easily. We have to get up there. Let's see if I can pull it off. I won't actually grab it if we can pull this off. But actually, I wonder if you can super glider in here now that we can do that. Super glider works, Twinge. It's a huge wall of metal. Or is it some kind of door? Those wings holding up? to have coffee fall neck. You are a stimulant or you're on a stimulant? Oh, you, you're on a stimulant. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. I've heard you don't want to mix that with ADHD meds, definitely. Oh no, we did have that on the right side, I'm pretty sure. 69 viewers. Awesome. 68. Lost one. We'll get another one. Caster on that. What does this do? I'm surprised this thing works after all this time. Uh oh, doors closing.
This could be useful. Somebody mentioned Baldur's Gate. I have not played it. Um, it's coming to PlayStation in a few days. I think September 6th. The door's closed. Same official so release date as Starfield. In. Let's hope there's a way out. Door is locked. Looks like it needs a key module. Expect everything to hold up in this place, I guess. Oh, I forgot to pull those down uh, first. How am I gonna get up there now? Um, fall neck, the super glide. Well, the super glide is actually like if you're near structures in some spots, you can. Uh... Now I haven't done it in a while. I think we do R1, R2. So a regular. There's a glider jump, which is just hitting square and or uh, yeah, square and circle at the same time, or X and square at the same time. Sorry, and she gets a little bit of extra height, which we think started with the Burning Shores, the first Burning Shores patch, but we're not quite sure. You can see Aloy kind of like hops up a level, but then the super glide will take you like super high, but it's inconsistent where it works. So I don't know which, which spots it'll work in here. I'll, when we get out of here, I'll show you in a different spot. It's not hooking onto that. Hey Mark, good to see you too. Um, I already did Burning Shores, so I'm just kind of getting this save file back to 100% since I restarted to do Burning Shores a while back. Yeah, Fall Neck, Baldur's Gate's a, a big time investment. So is Starfield from what I've heard. I did actually get early access to Starfield and I played like, I think I played like 12 hours or so. And uh, it was it's kind of slow to get started. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make videos on it. It's just like it's so massive, and I haven't like fallen in love with it really. It's a good game, I, I think. think. I have what I need to. Open I need to get door. further to actually tell, but there. It's uh, it's just like so. It seems like you really won't have a lot of fun with it until you get much, much further in the game to unlock like the ship building and everything. Um, What's in here? I don't want to judge it too much because I really haven't played a whole lot of it, but the story, story oh. seems like it'll be pretty good, but pretty straightforward. And uh, I think it's just like a really long haul until the end where you actually get to do some really interesting things from what the little bit that I've played and what I've read and seen other people say. Cristiano, thanks. Glad you like the videos. Huh. Looks like I'm back on the other side of the big door. We may even be able to jump it right from here. Yep. So you can you can do the glider jump to get over here and cheese it, but I kind of want to remember how to do this again because I haven't done it in a long time. You're watching others people play Starfield Fall Neck. Hey, Aiden. Yeah, unfortunately, Starfield's not on PC or uh, PlayStation. I think a lot of people, a lot more people, would give it a try if it was. But it Now's my be, chance. It won't be coming to PlayStation. I don't think it'll connect. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough to avoid spoilers for you Starfield. Can still move. 
Especially now okay. that the uh, public um, early access is open. To do with you. I think if you pre-ordered like the deluxe edition or whatever, you can play right now. Yeah, September 6th is the Starfield release date for a regular pre-order. Uh, what did we need the train car here for again? Let's see. We need to get up there. It's funny, I did all these on my first playthrough, and then I did some of them on another playthrough, but not all of them. So it's actually been a really long time since I've done them. Which is kind of neat, it's fun to figure them out again. Not just blast through them. Do you only pre-order Horizon Voodoo? <laughs> I can see that. It's pretty much a sure win. Oh, we have to prop the door open with the cart. That's right. Find a way to reach the relic, but how? Oh. I knew we had to prop the door open with something. I was kind of trying to push the cube on the other side that way at first, but it doesn't let you. Hi, Kick, you bought PS5 exclusively for Forbidden West. Yeah, you know, it's funny, like, people are saying, oh, I'd never buy a... People just say in general, you know, they're not going to buy a console just for one game or whatever, but... Hurry to get to the other side. I kind of think that's actually why people upgrade or buy a new console. You know, they have one or two games that they really want to play that are on that console. And that's like the initial like push that makes you get it, right? No, we don't need to screen shine. Okay. That should keep the door open. Oh, I should have. I can't pull this anymore, can I? Yeah, it's always about the games for sure. I mean, you definitely will want to wait to make sure there's at least like a handful of games that you'd probably enjoy, but I think as far as like upgrading a generation or switching to a new console or getting a console for the first time, there's probably like one or two games you really want to play and that's why you do it. You're still going up, huh? Better move quickly. MH, missed you too, man. Good to see ya. Bree, Horizon 3 is the only reason you get a PS5? So you you haven't played Forbidden West then? Gatorade, I'm sure. Understanding the mechanics of Horizon Forbidden West would transfer to the third game. Although I do hope there's new mechanics for sure, like new weapons and things like that. But I mean, if you were if you played Zero Dawn, that experience. Was transferred. But then of course we got like Shredder Gauntlets and Spike Throwers and new weapons that took some more figuring out. But the basics, like how elements work and things like that, those totally transferred One from Zero Dawn. One more ornament collection. I wonder what kind of lights this one will show. <laughs> Better make a trip to see Stemmer. I could look around more before I head out. See what else I can find. Um, Shara, yeah. Oh, good point. I keep thinking about Burning Shores as the limitation to be on the PS5. But you can definitely play the base game. On the PS5. <laughs>
swear sometimes the instant chances, like the RNG just doesn't work right. There we go. I would really like to see, I don't know how much of a chance we have of like actual changes to the game happening when the PC port drops, but I would love to see an elemental rebalance because I think I've played over like a thousand hours now and <laughs> you do, let's kill a shell snapper while we're over here and unlock this campfire. Um, you do really start to just notice how much frost is overpowered compared to the other elements. High kick, you so you played Zero Dawn on PC then, so you're trying to get better with controller. I can empathize with that for sure. I was most of you guys probably don't know, but I actually was pretty late to coming to Zero Dawn. I didn't have a PS4. And so the first time I played Zero Dawn was on, well, that's not true. I did play on someone else's PS4 a little bit, like closer to when it launched, but um, I don't have the right Valor Surge equipped. The first time I really played was when the PC launch happened in 2020. 2020? Yeah, I think it was 2020. <laughs> better. Oops, healed by accident. Launched fast that time. Kill this guy.
Try to get used to not having a reticle again. Send this to my stash. Alright, let's go make it daytime. It's getting dark. A video about status effects? Like status effects on Aloy? Dub Zero, you need to finish the aerial captures in Burning Shores. Is that the last thing you need for 100% on Burning Shores? Let's go to a shelter. Over here. Uh, Fall Neck, I've mostly not used a reticle for a little while now just to make it more challenging. Break my fall. Unknown settlement. Yeah, you do need to complete the arena to get 100%. Oh. Unknown settlement because we did the quest and then didn't come back. I gotcha. Bleeding mark. is a black box over there and we can grab that survey drone while we're there Strike true as it can. we can also blow up some plow horns and make some cool uh, branch art topiary I think would be the right word for that there we go You guys hear like an echo to the game audio? I must have something set up weird with my audio routing here. Maybe it's just for me. Nope. Sounds like a jet engine twinge? Yeah, that's what it sounds like for me too. Let me, uh... I guess I want to hear my system sounds. Huh. I don't know what it is. Oh, be quiet. off me.
adhesive. It's just crazy. <laughs> the adhesive really is bad. I mean, it's it's tough. The game audio is a little high. I'll turn it down a little bit. We didn't lose our bleeding mark. Okay, good. Hey, Barris. Good to see you. You mean my, uh, that I'm just not talking much or that my audio's a little too quiet compared to the, the game audio? Almost 14k? That's a nice shot. Turn up my mic a little bit. Close enough to get chambers to oh, get out of that adhesive. The machine can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. How did that not blow up the I love that. It's such a cool little touch on the plow horns. Come here. All right, did we keep that metal flower? No. Need that. Adhin, yeah, I'm, uh, I have a low health build right now. So I have the Vanquisher, Stamina Regen, and Potion Proficiency. Whoops. Survey Drone, we'll grab that. Do you want my mic louder, Paris? Kind of maxing out my mic, so I think to grab its data. I have to turn the game audio down, and then you'll have to turn your overall audio up, so they're balanced better. Stop there! Uh, over here! Uh, I uh, 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 bring her down! Uh, ow! Close, huh? Find me! Ooh, that was with a sharp shot on the jump. That was cool. Whoops, no, don't do that.
Dane, you just got a PS5. And you got Forbidden West with it. Alright, where's the survey drone? Isn't the music off? Or do you mean the in-game music, Paris? What percent do I have right now, Kepler? Um, so we have 100% burning shores. And then I have 85% for the base game. Oh, we passed the survey drone. Or is that a black box? No, it's a survey drone. October 20th, Fall Neck, yep. Spider-Man 2. It's going to be a big one. I'm pretty sure I'll cover that one. Don't know if I'm going to have early access yet, but I should. There you are, little guy. Oh, come back. Come back. Bits, you want to get back to playing Horizon? Yes, you do. Is there something to climb on the other side of this? Oh. We weren't supposed to be able to get up here, but we did. Let's see if we can just drop in on it. Yeah, Henrik, unfortunately, Burning Shores is not, not going to come to PS4. They stated that pretty definitively, that it was PS5 only. trap in my inventory. There should be a roller back around here somewhere. Oh, back this way. What'd you miss in the first 30 minutes, Paris? Uh, not too much. I'm just cleaning up my 100% file here. Where is that roller back?
Hey pretzels, glad you enjoy the content. Thanks for dropping into the stream. I swear there's supposed to be a roller back around here. There he is. Amy, you're Savage Nora? That's good to know. see him like gravity is armor back on. Pop a smoke bomb. Bree, is it worth getting a four K TV? Um, I mean, if you can afford it. Does look very good. If you're gonna go that route though, like if you're gonna go, well, I don't know, you can get fairly affordable 4K TVs now, I guess, that are like lower end, but if you're uh if you're gonna go for a higher end TV, I would I would go all in and get an OLED 4K if you're gonna do that. Looks amazing. Okay, what do we want to go next? Oh, we did a relic ruin earlier, Paris. That's what we did. We could go to Still Sands Relic Ruin. Oh, we were gonna go, I was gonna go sh show the super glide. Let me go somewhere I know it'll work, like the arena. How's our supply of ash flood looking? Welcome, Outlander. Your godless campaign comes to the Thank you. 
a spot at works. Am I forgetting how to do it? <laughs> Pretty sure I'm doing it right. Go in the, Only uh, the best soldiers can go up against the arena. The Memorial Grove. Yeah. The next time I'm on the I might be late to put our honor against Regala. It's the Chief's champion. This is Aelon, the champion of the Knock. I'm sure it still works. I'm probably just not doing it quite right. Stop the acrobatics. Later, the entire grove was filled with lights. Like the days of the first Tenor. Even more. The truth of the visions was revealed to us. Then we gathered here and we took the fire back to us. And this was the same message to keep Takaro to get back up and running. Unity against our common struggle. I wish I could have seen it out. Is it light attack, heavy attack, Twinge? Oh, oh, just the light attack. Okay, there we go. Come Thank you. Old friend. <laughs> I haven't done it in so long. So if you do, if you do a light attack, R1, right? Your spear swing. This is the super glide. So if you do a light attack with R1 near like a structure of some sort, not a tree, but like a structure. Aloy. Come and then you do X and square at the same time, she'll get boosted like super high in the air. Whoops, that was a little too close. So you see we just got boosted really high. That was a good one. Yeah, this, this only works if you're on a Burning Shores patch, so you have to be on PS5. But if you're on PS4, you can infinite jump, so... Oh, that was a good one. Hey, Balthazar. Good to see you, man. It's been a little bit. See, but, like, you can't do it outside. And you definitely can't do it out in the middle of nothing. In the open. Which kind of sucks. It'd be nice to be able to do it anywhere. Alright, where do we want to go here? go do that relic ruin we'll clean up this whole corridor and we'll kill machines along the way pretzels it, it's uh 
it helps with there's not much you need it for it's not super helpful but if you do the arena duplication glitch it is one way to like get out a little bit quicker and if people have commented a lot on that video that I did the most recent one like that there's an invisible wall right when you get to the throne room when you're doing the glitch and you can super glide around that essentially like you can glitch around that with the super glide but you can't do it out here hey balthazar this is your fifth month being a member you're definitely one of the longest standing members man thank you for renewing let's get this campfire One of those drones. Survey drone. Now, how to get it down? Can't get that ladder down from here. This pigment would work well in armor. Savage Nora, are you trying to see if Slazenger's here? I don't think he is. I think he would have said something. to jump onto that drone to get it down. Uh, pretzels, I've never streamed on Twitch. But I think, so like when, when Forbidden West does come out on PC, I wanna do another playthrough that's just ultra hard from scratch on PC. And Oh, fancy pants, you are here. Sorry. Good to see ya. Um, so when it comes out on PC, I want to do another playthrough that's ultra hard from scratch. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll dual stream. It'll be a streamed playthrough. Oh, shit. Good thing we put the ladder down. Um, so probably what I'll do is primarily be streaming on YouTube, but I can restream at the same time to Twitch. And I want to do that mainly because I also, I just kind of want to see from a technical standpoint how hard it is to multi-stream. And then I also think that a lot of PC players will probably be more familiar with Twitch streaming than YouTube streaming, so it'll just capture more of an audience probably. Why can I not walk on that? Um, Fred, I have not done a full playthrough Ultra Hard from scratch on PS5. I've gotten like a little bit past the cool route on a save file that's Ultra Hard from scratch. And then uh, I just got busy doing other stuff, so I haven't finished it. But it's, de it's definitely like the ultimate challenge. I should be able to walk on this, right? Or is it the next one that we're having trouble with? There we go. Hey, Balthazar, thanks so much for 10 gifted members. That's awesome, man. So we got 10 new members here in the chat. You guys just got free memberships from Balthazar. So if you're a member, you get uh, access to the custom chat emoji for the channel. And then there's a special channel on Discord that you get access to on the Discord server, which the bot should be spamming the link for in the chat. And you get a you get a badge next to your name like like Balthazar has here, like the blue one he has. Yeah, there you go. Bakery spammed all the custom emojis. Thanks again, Balthazar. That's awesome. Really appreciate it. Taking you with me. Red Tiger. Yeah, it's been a while. Good to see you too. How to get the data from the drone. like 
to see my map. There we go. About this hard, just making sure more people can enjoy the wonderful community. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Definitely a big help. Uh, let's make it morning. Laban, you did the infinite jump glitch? Nice. The infinite jump or the super jump? PVT, it's going well. Hope things are well with you, too. Good with you. See what this is. Epitet, yeah, I hope early 2020, so I mean February 2024 would be exactly two years since Forbidden West came to, was released. So that'd be two years for a PC port, which a lot of the Sony titles are about a two year gap between their PlayStation release and PC port, if they get a PC port. So early 2024 would definitely be reasonable. A couple of them have come a little bit sooner than two years, which is why I'm holding out a little bit of hope that we get it by the end of this year, like holiday season 2023 would be really cool. But I'm not sure. I give it like a 50% chance that we get it by the end of the year. Maybe I can track it down. We'll do this relic ruin over here. Kepler, do I think that I can speed run Forbidden West? I'm sure I could if I spent some time practicing. I'd like to do a speed run at some point. If things get slow with like other games and I get through like all the videos I want to do for Horizon and the PC port doesn't come too soon, then I'll probably try out speedrunning. I mean, I'll do it at some point. I just don't know how soon. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Okay. Um, Adeem, yeah, around. you do have to link on Discord, you have to like add your YouTube, um, the same login that you got the membership on. Oh, and then sometimes, sometimes it takes a little time for it to, to like, connect properly. Like some people have had to wait like a whole day. But as long as you connect your YouTube account to Discord or in Discord, I should say, then you'll get the, the role in Discord and you'll get access to the Superfans channel.
Let's see if I remember how to do this one. Energy cell. This thing's losing its Without cheesing fast. it with the Sunwing. Because <laughs> we can just fly up to the top and drop in, there. but I don't want to do stored. that. Oh, is it saying the purple gear thing, Twinge? I thought I did change that. Let me look at the stream elements. Oh, no, it's not updated. See if it worked. Next time it pings. All right, let's see. How does this go again? We need. To move that over. Like the switch controls those old lights on the rails up there. Oop, not time for swimming, Aloy. DM, I live in the U.S. So I think we need to get a cube up here. Yeah, it would be nice if you could just hold down to craft at the workbench. So then we need to get in here and blow up the wall. Hmm. Those lights on the rails move fast. to get in here we have to like grapple pull it through a couple of holes I, like through this from this side we have to grapple pull it we need to get in there first and to get in there I don't think we can do that from up here Which is why I thought we needed a cube to get up on the platform over there.
Oh, I forgot. There's these pegs back here. Okay. This is what we need. Honestly, Can't hook onto that. this is the hardest part of no reticle. I can see the switch through that hole in the wall. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a no. up here. <laughs> Just skipped right off the side. I don't actually know what we need this crate for yet. Let's go back over here. I think this is an elevator. It's working. We need to put the block in the elevator. I think this one. Go back down. is up on the wall, but I don't think I can reach them from here. Did we need two crates? gonna try to di dive through the doors. <laughs> Alright, let's put this crate on top and then I think we can get the other crate over here and we should be good. Down it goes. Easy. There we go. 
Hey, Jedi. Good to see ya. It's been a little bit, huh? Hope you've been well. Our let's play of Crate 2. Not quite as good as Portal 2, but it's close. Man, I love Portal. I wish they'd make another Portal. Push this a little bit closer. Oh no, we can't. Come on, Aloy. God. Let me move it back a little bit. I'm trying to glider jump so I don't have to jump so precisely, but she just keeps climbing down. interested in this I should give it to him the next time I see him Sunwing incoming there we go we could look around all right let's see we could go mess with the fire claw. See what else I can find. I think we'll go do the arena soon. Uh, do I stream on other platforms? I have not. We were talking about that a little bit ago. I think when Forbidden West comes out on PC, I'll I'll dual stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time for a playthrough of it. But I haven't streamed on Twitch or like Kick or anything like that before. I don't think that was the eye. Oop. Hello.
Oh. Trying to get a little too fancy. I wanted to hit the watcher in the eye and chain burst them all. Didn't work out clearly. Hello, Fire Teddy. Caught in the frost. from the aoe damage from that that's crazy man you should definitely not be able to take damage when you're doing a grapple strike that's just ridiculous oh. i was a little worried about that but i didn't think we'd be able to take it while we were like on top of his body was i burning paris is that what it was Third time, we're just gonna wipe them all. I do wanna nail a long range sniper shot on these watchers though. I think that was just the side of his head.
That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. That's what you get for trying to be fancy. Not even that fancy, really. Yes, Fire Teddy is definitely angry. Melee at Paris, yeah. We'll be here for like a half an hour. Grab that survey drone after this. There we go. That was an eye shot. That was not quite an eye shot. spots that absorbs damage, huh? to kill him in a cool way with a good shot to the eye or something. Now we got the rain too. He's not Apex this time. That's why you get the watchers first.
Can you guys tell I'm rusty? Cool, no, I haven't played Elden Ring. I'm not sure I'd like it. I've watched a little bit of it. I think I want, I'd want it to have a better story. Why is that? Why is he way over here? Is that a different fire claw spawn? There's a fire claw there. Setting it on fire, won't There's it? a fire claw here. Is that an unmarked site? Never seen that before. One fire claw. Get out of the way. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have done the grapple strike, man. Uh, they just get you into trouble. I really like, I, I feel like you shouldn't be able to take damage while you're in the middle of the animation because you're just locked in. But you want to use it because it looks so cool, you know? It's so flashy. 
I'm disoriented. This way, yep. All right, this is the last attempt on this. If I don't get it this time, then the next one will be the last attempt. <laughs> is that other fire claw down there again? No. Side eye shot, that was nice. We're gonna clear out these watchers first. Activating my low health. Not! Oh boy. Next one. Next one. Whoops. Grab this survey drone. Oh. Just wanted to snatch it real quick. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are having fun watching me die a lot. That seems to be the pattern right now. Seems like the stream delay is pretty low. You guys uh, react pretty quick when I die. That's good. This is a blast, pretzels. Glad you're having fun. All right, let's see if we can snag this. Hold still, drone. Taking you with me. You just know I'm gonna die in advance. <laughs> Ropecaster masterclass. I'm gonna do the low health playstyle one first, Paris. Oh, get the data from the um, my editor's working on it right now. We're going back and forth a little bit, like I said on Discord, because. I'm trying something new with the edits. Um, 
just editing it, editing it a little differently. So it's taking a little more time for us to figure that out. But probably that one should be next weekend, and then Ropecaster should be the weekend after that. I'm going to re-record a section of the Ropecaster one, though, because it's pretty clear that... I just want to clarify, like, the, the water absorbing damage or the areas near water absorbing ammo type thing. Since I figured that out a little bit more after I recorded. In the back of the neck. What are there, five of them here? Oh, be quiet. in for a big hit. Just missed his eye. All right, we're done with this guy for a while. Uh, Thule, it's not as risky as you'd think. I keep calling my charger instead of the Sunwing. Because you get low health defense. So your damage gets reduced a whole lot if you stay below stay low enough, below 30%. Mm. Thanks, guys. It's about time I killed it. I think we're going to go to the arena means I'm going to turn the music back on because I have listened to the arena music way too much. So I, now I turn the in-game music off and I listen to regular music. 
Now, if you guys haven't uh, tried the arena or tried for like a top time in the arena, then this might be a little bit different for you to watch because it's a lot of like quitting and restarting when things don't quite go right. Because you just have to do a lot of attempts at the arena. And it's going to be a little bit slow starting out because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, PVT, yeah, I do talk about second chance in the low health video. Pretzels, I would definitely do an elemental rebalance so that frost isn't like the thing you always default to using for elements. And then I'd love like this will this will never happen in Forbidden West, but maybe in the third game, like instead of buying weapons and upgrading them, I think it'd be really cool if we could start with like a um, different rarity levels of like a base bow and then customize it with components from the machine to upgrade it so that like getting the components actually changes the weapon to be able to like use different ammo types and things like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Because the way it is now, like you have to grind pretty hard to upgrade like purple and legendary gear. Um, and I don't really mind the grind. It's just that it's just like a random set of materials that you have to get um, to be able to upgrade. But if you could actually get like, okay, like I need a Fanghorn antler to be able to make my bow be able to shoot like advanced hunter arrows because it needs to be reinforced or something like that. I think that would be cool. And having like different options. So like the Fanghorn antler would let you do that. Um, but then maybe like a bellowback sinew string or something would let you shoot fire arrows or something like that. I don't know. Let's turn off the in-game music. Whoops. So say the chief. The visions are renewed. Lasting peace. Let it conjure. Then what? Trade, maybe. Free passage over the borders. The only in our mind. Willingly step foot into God. Medals are given Only to the, the best, best soldiers can go up against the arena. Show us what you got. Let's check my rankings. I don't even know if I'm in top 10 anymore for everything. Okay, so I'm, bar I'm barely hanging on to the top 10 for rematch. I need to cut that time down by like 30 seconds at least. From the deep, I'm 11th. So these these challenges have changed with the Burning Shores, which is weird because if you're on PS4, I don't think this works the same way. So you used to not get a charged up Valor Surge from the start, but then when Burning Shores came out, it changed to where you do get a Valor Surge from the start. So you can do some of these challenges a little bit differently now. Can improve Tremor Tusk Tussle for sure. I'm just outside the top 10 on Dreaded Encounter. Same thing on Apex. Definitely want to get at least under a minute on that. Plasma and Fire. Wildfire, whoops. I'm still top three for Scrap Beast, that's good. Although that wasn't the greatest run. I could definitely improve it. Okay, so let's just start with rematch.
Oh, Arg, there you are at four. So let's get this to be me and Slazinger, Wallace, and Jerry, and Arg. That'd be sweet in whatever order. Hey, Arg. Yeah, see, we have a fully charged Valor Surge from the start now. I think we want to be using the... Well, we can just use... Well, we're going to have to run through both sets of Shredders, I'm pretty sure. Trying to get the Valor Surge thing removed, Twinge? Never a dull. Better ready yourself. Oh, the four second, yeah. So that's, there's a glitch kind of way to do that. That's not a legit time, but Slazenger does have the top time now. He just recently got it back, like a week ago maybe. I don't think it's possible to do the four second anymore, Pretzel, but it's also, it sounds like Twinge is saying it's difficult for them to remove it from the board too. Closer, Snake. All right, I'm probably not going to wait for optimal positioning for a number of runs here, just so I can get the, the flow of the whole strat down again. But I do need him to get a little bit closer than that. <laughs> Arg. Yeah, stream elements isn't that smart.
team's got frostbite. Better to do the piercing shredders or the acid shredders, I'm not sure. Piercing arg? Yeah, until a frost is worn off, and then you go. It's kind of hard to tell when the frost is worn off, though, right? See ya, Paris. Thanks for dropping in. The music is giving you the rest. Welcome to the shred vessels for sure. They do grind though, so grind is, it's fair to say grind. Hitting myself with the shutters by accident. That's not gonna be good. Oh, 
lost all our stamina. Yeah, this one it became so much more RNG based arc. Unfortunately, that's what most of the challenges end up being. You just kind of zero in on being very reliant on some luck to get crits or good positioning or whatever. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing with the shredders, it's I can jump out of the arena and show you what happens here real quick, but they bounce backwards and then they'll sit on the ground and like deal damage over time. So it's actually the fastest way to kill the snake, believe it or not, if you can get a bunch of shredders to pile up underneath him. And you have to do it in reverse because they always bounce backwards. Yeah, pretzels, you can hear like the, the damage clinging away in the background. It's really kind of annoying that this became the meta though, because you can't actually see what you're doing, which kind of sucks. It's not switching to my ass. He's not even behind me anymore. Hey, Red Tiger. You know, it's been a while, but when the Horizon Show comes out, do you think I'll review it? Yeah, definitely. I'll do some content on the Horizon Show. Thanks a lot for the donation, too. Appreciate that.
see all the damage over time is taking. See if I can improve my time at all here. Nope. JJD, may your gauntlets fly true. Oh, I think we did improve slightly. One second or less, maybe. I don't think it was the exact same because I'm pretty sure I was 10th when we started. I think it was just like a teeny bit faster. It was a very sloppy run. The Valor Surge is Elemental Fury. It's the only one you get in the challenge. It's fixed loadout. Pretzels, yeah, it does. It does fix your weapon techniques. No! Dang it. That was a bad start. He was so far away to begin with.
can sort of kind of tell where he's at based on the shadow, but not really. Yeah, pretzels, this is just how it goes. You just have to do this a lot until you get a good run, basically. throw him at the wall, but kept moving. You can also throw the shredders at the wall if he's against the wall, and then they fall down to the ground and they'll deal damage the same way, but that requires a little bit more luck with the machine positioning. That's a good point, Twinge. At night, it'll be a little easier to see where the, uh, based on the lights, where they're at. Yeah, I do remember Jerry saying that. No, you can't you can't get food buffs going beforehand. It's a good thought, but it doesn't work, unfortunately. Pretzels, no, you can actually change the D-pad. So you need to do that for a lot of the um, a lot of the challenges. The fastest way is to craft traps up here on the platform. Actually, pretty much all the challenges that are locked loadout, except for this one. So you can do that.
Yeah, but like Arg saying, you can only you get a set amount of resources that you can craft traps with. So you can't like craft traps ahead of time. It's just whatever. Like I have, let's see. I have 10 volatile sludge, you know, in the inventory when you load in here. So I could craft some trap. Whoops. I could craft some traps, but only as many as it lets me. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Twinge. You definitely have to have some patience for the arena. A lot of patience. Come on over, Snake. Karam, they all bounce back, actually. He was staying put pretty good that time, too. Sixty percent patience, forty percent masochism. That's right. Frozen, you're not supposed to move. High kick, yeah, I hope you I hope you can learn something from this. It's pretty pretty niche, but if you're interested in doing the arena challenges. Yeah, I mean Bree, that's a good point. Do, smoke is useful everywhere. Smoke bombs are definitely underrated, I think, by the majority of players. Nah, pretzels, I don't think there's a better way, man. This is this is it. The rest of the loadout they give you is not great. Even the original method used shredders before we knew about the Chill backwards the thing. Come on, snake. You're supposed to stay still when you're frozen. out of here. Hey, Twinge, thanks for gifting 10 memberships. Really appreciate that. So 10 of you guys in the chat just got a free membership courtesy of Twinge. Like Balthasar did before, gave us three memberships as well. So if you're a member, you get access to the special, the custom emoji for the channel that you can use here in chat. 
And then you also get access to a special channel on Discord and a badge next to your name on YouTube. Try from the deep. Do this one more try and then we'll switch to from the deep real quick. I should be able to improve my time on from the deep pretty easily because the new strat is very simple. It just requires some decent machine positioning. So I think we just need, like, I think we only need two traps to get it done. We'll craft three. We need is we just need the tide ripper and one snap mod to be near it. And then uh, we drop in, we do radio blast, we put a couple traps down. And then the only thing that's really kind of tricky that we need to try and get some good get lucky with basically is the other snap mod needs to want to jump at us right when we do that. Kareem, a new video about the new legendary weaves and outfits. Um, I think I have that on my list. What I'd be curious to know what it is you want to know exactly about them. Like which outfits and weaves are best. How to pair them together. Tony, they'll definitely make Horizon 3. Um, it doesn't sound like they're going to make another DLC for Forbidden West, though. Doma, you're playing ultra hard from scratch. That's tough. That's the ultimate challenge for sure. I need that third snap mod to be far away so that he wants to jump.
place you can't enter in No Man's Land? Do you mean that the fortress up on the mountainside? Seems like at this point that that thing was just content that they cut. I was hoping Burning Shores would bring us that to like, allow us to do a side quest there or something. But it doesn't seem like it. Although, when it comes out on PC, like in Zero Dawn when the PC port came out, people figured out how to disable the invisible walls that prevented you from like going off the map and into different places they didn't want you to go. So uh, I fully expect when the PC port for Forbidden West comes out, probably within a few weeks we'll be able to go check out that fortress because somebody will figure out how to mod it so that the invisible walls are all gone. Which also means there's probably going to be a very easy duplication method if you're willing to mod it um, on PC. Because the invisible walls are basically what's challenging about doing it, about getting out of the arena for the duplication glitch. The Thunderjaw fight with Draka, yeah, that's a tough one even on regular difficulties if you try to do it early on. Too soon, buddy. Pretzels, do you mean the fortress near No Man's Land? I think these guys are a little too far apart. Yeah, they, they definitely meant that to be something because when you clear out that rebel camp and it becomes hollow rock, there's like a path with climbing gra like ropes and everything and ladders to get up there that leads like to that fortress. And then it just kind of stops and doesn't let you go any further because there's an invisible wall. So they, they definitely meant it to be something at some point. too far away. Can you do the crazy super glide in the arena, Pretzels? You mean during an active challenge? Uh, it wouldn't really help you, but you can probably do it. I haven't tried to do it during an active challenge, other than when I'm trying to get out. 
then you, you definitely can do it then. This Tide Ripper's too far away. Yeah, it, w it wouldn't help you during a challenge, pretzels. I mean, it might be fun, but... I mean, maybe it would let you cheese it somehow, like if you could get up on the side platform and just shoot the machines from there and be safe. Mr. Fancy Pants or Wallace and Paulino pretzels. They both had the record at different times. You do have to get pretty kind of lucky with machine positioning, which is why I keep restarting. Unlock fancy pants. You have a trick for getting the machines to line up where you want? That'd be pretty good. Oh, we shocked the other one. That's not gonna be good. Um, it's actually not a pillow cover, it's just a blanket back there. See if I can point to it. Right here. Um, it's a blanket from the PlayStation Store. Onslaught, because I've heard the music like a million times and I'm sick of it. <laughs> That's why. The shock damage deals some direct damage, but then it explodes all their, like, elemental sacks. So you basically get a bunch of damage by exploding the various elemental sacks that are on them. Ah! 
accidentally hit that smoke bomb. Not good. The blanket's unavailable? Oh man. I got it a few months ago. Uh, that radial blast reaches pretty far. Surprising it shocks that snap mom way behind us. Doma, that's a very good question. What will my content look like over the next few years? I mean, I'm gonna mix in other games. I don't think I can just survive on Horizon content alone until another game comes out. I think the PC release will be a big deal. So I'm definitely gonna make content around that. Um, like I'd like to do like an updated comprehensive skill guide, skills guide, a comprehensive you know, combat guide. There's, there's a bunch of videos I could make around that. And like I was saying before, I can do like an ultra hard from scratch live stream slash walkthrough. Um, pretzels, yeah, I am gonna play Spider-Man 2 and I'll make content for that. Also Assassin's Creed Mirage. I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not, but I'm planning on playing and making videos for that. And then maybe Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, if it looks like it's gonna be good. I can't really tell yet. Um, Onslaught, yeah. So the Horizon multiplayer game is real. They've, they haven't done a public like trailer announcement, but they have done interviews where they've stated they are working on it. So it's not just a rumor. They are working on at least one multiplayer game. Um, I did a video all on like the multiplayer games, Horizon Zero Dawn remaster, the Netflix show, PC port for Forbidden West and all the like evidence there is for all these different things, but they are making the multiplayer. It's possible that comes out in 2024, but I'd be kind of surprised if it came out that quick. But that'll be the next, that'll be the next big horizon thing that will be a lot of content for the channel. Are you jumping too soon, man? Don't do it yet. Kareem, PlayStation 5 Pro. Um, Probably end of next year, sounds like, from the rumors. There's nothing really conclusive. The PlayStation, they're going to do a new PlayStation 5, like, slim version, or they may just call it the PlayStation 5, because they I think they've discontinued manufacturing the current model of the PlayStation 5. That doesn't mean they're not going to make PlayStation 5s anymore. They are. But they're going to, like, trim it down so it's smaller, it sounds like. Or they're going to have another SKU that's just a PlayStation 5 Slim, like a, like a PS4 Slim. This might be a good one. I didn't shock myself. Yeah, PlayStation 5 Pro, earliest, like, late 2024, late next year. That's the earliest I could see it happening. Oh, I 
hate when these things are they gonna go away? You have got. I have to get it to reload so that those things go away. Andrew, the challenge is from the deep. So you have to kill all the machines as fast as possible. And I'm trying to go for a top time on ultra hard. Which means you have to basically do it with radial blast, the valor surge, and then traps. Earned any medals yet, is where soldiers or are made. maybe you found Still here. I want to quit the game and reload it. I think if we re if we load a different challenge, they'll go away. Nope. I don't think they deal damage anymore. Let's see. No, they. I think they do deal damage. out twinge thanks for dropping in i'll see you later all right i gotta quit the game to get rid of these things seeing you in the Earn some medals. Let's see how you.
One of you needs to get further away here. <laughs> Slasinger. Eight or nine hundred attempts. Yeah, that is how you create your own luck. They weren't quite close enough together, I don't think. Could you imagine how much further behind we'd be on arena times if we didn't have a duplication glitch for shards? <laughs> be crazy. My hopes for Horizon 3. Um, well, yeah, we were talking a little bit before about like a different crafting, a weapon crafting system, so that you kind of like build your bows and stuff based on different machine components instead of just using random machine components to upgrade stuff. We definitely have to have new machines. That's for sure. I'd love to see, like, a giant crab machine, praying mantis machine. I'm sure they've thought about, like, a spider, but they've probably not done it because it would creep people out. Shocked all three. Capture half, and then we should be able to use a simulator to print any machine. Oh, that'd be cool. A dedicated video on what I'd like to see in Horizon 3, Doma. Pretzels, if you do want to fight a giant spider, you should play Hogwarts Legacy. There's some spiders in there. And yeah, you can use the duplication glitch to, uh, to farm shards. You duplicate other items and then you sell them for shards, basically.
Do it. Do it. Really? Didn't improve our time there. We gotta get, we gotta get at least under 11 seconds. So we gotta shave off 10 seconds. It sounds crazy whenever you think about it that way, but it's, it's really just comes down to getting a good run. It's like it makes a massive difference. Like throwing the spikes at the end there just takes so much time. Like doing it normally takes so much time, basically. Pretzels, do I use motion aiming? No, I don't. I keep that disabled. I find it like, I guess I move my controller around like randomly without noticing, but I find the motion aiming kind of messes me up. I do see how it's helpful though, if you're like intentionally using it. I, I just don't find it helps too much for myself. I kick you look like you're fishing. What do you mean? In Horizon? Fishing with your controller. <laughs> Flicking it forward. I shouldn't have put it down there. Yeah, if there was actually a fishing, like trying to get the fish is actually kind of annoying in Horizon. So if there was like legitimately a fishing pole, it would be kind of cool. And like the graphics are so good, you know, and the fish models and everything, there's so many of them. It would actually be kind of like a cool little thing to do in the game. Get up, Ayla, get up.
yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what the multiplayer, like, what it really ends up being. It sounds like there will be some kind of competitive mode. But, which I'm actually excited for, but I did a poll for this on YouTube, like, a few weeks ago. And most people do not, at least the people that responded to my poll, which was, like, a few thousand, right? Most people are not interested in a competitive aspect, like a multiplayer competitive aspect. Um, now that doesn't mean that the game won't succeed. That just means it'll attract a different player base. But I hope that it can have like a competitive aspect, but then also, oh my God, really? Tide Ripper pushed me off. Um, I hope that it can have a competitive aspect like a co-op competitive aspect, right? Like you have to work together to clear a cauldron or something like that. But then also like a more type adventure type mode, which I think would uh, appeal more to current Horizon players. Yeah, Pretzels, it's, it's, a, it's like its own standalone game the multiplayer. It's not like the third game in the series. You know, it's not going to continue Aloy's story. It's going to do its own thing. So. But a lot of people have said that. They're like, oh, why is the next one going to be multiplayer? And it's it's not the next game in the series. There will, there will be a Horizon 3 single player game with Aloy as the main character, just like Zero Dawn, just like Forbidden West. But then there will also be a multiplayer of some sort. Yeah, races of teams to clear out cauldrons. That's what I'm thinking too. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, this one's See, I think the damage here is so close that you need the other Snap Ma's, um, like, throat sack to explode near the Tide Ripper to kill it. Yeah, it is going to be something like 2028, probably, for Horizon 3 in reality. But that's why I hope the multiplayer is good. It's supposedly going to come out before that. And hopefully it can, it can be fun for everybody who currently plays Horizon. Not bunched up well enough. Pick a tribe and fight machines, war against other tribes. Yeah, it could be like that. That'd be fun too. I don't know about warring between tribes because that would, like I think they're still gonna make whatever story they come up with consistent with the existing universe. Um, it's just that Aloy's not gonna be the main character. Although it could take place on a totally different continent. Like it could take place on, in Africa or, or Asia or Europe and that, I mean, South America. That would be so far away from where Aloy's at that you could really do whatever you want. I'd also love for them to do like one off single player spin off games of other characters that we know. Like, I think Ikri in the Frozen Wilds, like, I'd have to look back at the quest line with her and how that kind of left off but I kind of feel like it left off totally unfinished like she was off to do something um, after that so it'd be cool to like be able to play as Ikri and play like a full game through single player triple A title as Ikri it'd be cool to do like a, a prequel game with Rost as the main character 
Because we know Rost was a death seeker. Because his family was murdered during the Red Raids. And he went to the Forbidden West. Um, I think as far we know as far as Plain Song. But we don't know a whole lot about what he was up to or what his adventure was like, so that'd be really cool to play through, like as a younger Rost. As Seika? Yeah, that'd be interesting to play as Seika. Oh my god, stop. I'd love a Talana spin-off game. Like, a spin-off that you play a single-player game as Talana right now in the story would be really interesting because she's kind of, like, in conflict at the moment. Or you could go back and, like, zoom back to when she was younger and play it up to the point where, like, she meets Aloy and becomes the Sunhawk. That'd be pretty cool. But I think... It They'd more, if they did that, I think it's more likely they would uh, that they would go for like from this point in the story after Forbidden West forward. As Silence, I'm not sure how you do it as Silence or Errand, but those could be interesting too. I mean, I guess you could just come up with whatever you wanted for Aaron at this point. Yeah, high kick. It's definitely ripe for spinoffs. They did say at a developer interview a couple months ago that they're planning to, like, continue expanding the Horizon franchise for a very long time. Now, what that means beyond Horizon 3 that we know of and the multiplayer game that we know of, which they confirmed during that interview, um, nobody really knows, you know. And the Netflix show. I don't think they've... I don't think Gorilla themselves have said anything about the Netflix show, if I remember correctly, but... Um, we're almost positive the Netflix show is happening. The memorial to Lance? Yeah, I found that high kick. We could go check that out if you want. Yeah, Doma, it is kind of crazy when you think about it that way, but... I don't know. It goes by faster than you th than, than you think when you don't just think about, like, it's 2027, it's three-plus years away, you know? Or more. It could be 2028. Uh, we don't know who's going to play Aloy in the Netflix show. Didn't get the Valor Surge off. Tim, I don't think they're actually going to do that. I think they're basically going to... I'm not sure where that rumor came from, that it was going to be like an Enduring Victory show. It sounds like from what the little bits that the people working on it have actually said, like the producer or the showrunner, that it's going to be a retelling of Zero Dawn. It's not going to be... Enduring Victory. There may be flashbacks to Enduring Victory, which I think would be interesting. Like if we got, you know, we're doing something with Aloy and then we flash back to Elizabeth. Which would also work really well cinematically, right? Because you'd have the same actress play them. So they'd have the exact same face. And you could do like really cool transitions because, you know, they have the same face.
but I am still a little bit concerned about even just a retelling of Zero Dawn because, you know, you can screw it up. You know, in all kinds of ways, you can screw it up. Yeah, Tim, that, I mean, that exactly. How do you make a Horizon show without Aloy in it? So I don't know where that enduring victory thing came from. It, it could have been a tidbit somebody had about the fact that there would be flashbacks. That's my only thought. Oh, we shocked all three again. Truth serum, yeah. I hope they find somebody who nails it. You definitely need a really good Aloy. She's just so critical to the whole series and franchise really that's that's what i'm really interested to see with the multiplayer also is um because they've said they've pretty much said like it's a whole new cast of characters and, and story and uh to me that means aloy's not in it I mean, maybe she'll have a cameo like she did in Call of the Mountain, but it'll be interesting to see if they can make it really feel like Horizon without Aloy in it at all. an enduring victory game I'm sure they've thought about that it, it would it could be good they could definitely make a good one I think they'll probably not do it at least not anytime soon because part of the reason they moved to doing Horizon was they had made with Killzone they had made so many games that were like dark apocalyptic and they very intentionally wanted to do something that was not dark and grimy and dirty. You know, that's that's part of the fundamental reason they chose to go with Horizon as their new IP. So I'd be surprised if they wanted to go back and build another game that kind of reminded them of Killzone at this point. But maybe in a few years, or maybe even now, maybe they're ready. Yeah, Tim, it will be it will be interesting to see how they make the machines look good. I mean, cinema technology is getting really insane, but it's that doesn't mean it's not expensive. You know. Like the dragons in Game of Thrones and then uh what's the prequel series that's out right now? House of the Dragon. The dragons look really good. And I'm sure it's getting like cheaper to do that sort of a thing, but it's definitely not cheap. Oh, truth, you haven't played Zero Dawn? Yeah, you need to play Zero Dawn. I love Forbidden West, um, but there's no doubt that the story in Zero Dawn is just better. Like, you're just discovering everything and how this world works and everything like that. Who Aloy really is. Yeah, high kick. It's all going to come down to the budget. Well, not all of it. I mean, they could they could pick like bad showrunners or something, or have poor writers. But 
if they don't have a big budget for the Horizon show, they're they're kind of screwed. I think. I just don't know how they could capture all the splendor of the world without like a huge CGI budget for machines and stuff. And the cauldrons, like we definitely have to go in a cauldron at least once in the show, right? I mean, more than that, you gotta, you, not just cauldrons, but you have to go in all these ruins and you have to have like holographic representations of Elizabeth and Ted. So they just have to have a lot of, a lot of tech has to go into making the Horizon show any way you want to do it. Yeah, Pretzels, it's the, I forget what his name is. And I haven't watched the Umbrella Academy, but the guy who produced that or was the showrunner for that is running the Horizon show. Yeah, truth, you definitely have to, you have to fight a Thunderjaw. And I mean, I guess if they don't go for Forbidden West content, then you wouldn't see a Slaughter Spine. You know, if it was just Zero Dawn, but you gotta fight a Thunderjaw. And the Deathbringers are part of the story, like you have to fight them. Although, if you haven't played Zero Dawn, you don't know about that, I guess. Cauldrons as the season finales. Yeah, that could work. I mean, that's the other question. Is it, is it a one season show for each game? Like, do they do Zero Dawn as season one and Forbidden West as season two? And then, depending on when it comes out, they wait a long time for season three for the final third game? Or do they split up Zero Dawn into multiple seasons? Steve Blackman, yeah, that's his name. Thanks, Pretzels. Do I think they'll tease the third show, the third game in the show? Um, probably not. I don't know. It all depends on when things release. I B2. What will happen to Silence, like, in terms of who's going to play him? Well, I know in Destiny, they recasted his character with another voice actor. So they can always recast him with another voice actor. No! That sounds close enough. I also, there's also the possibility that they use like an AI voice to do his lines. Like I was really, there's somebody out there and it's not a very big YouTube channel or anything like that, but there's somebody out there who made like a Horizon David Attenborough narrated like nature documentary. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's really well done. And they used like an AI voice. I don't know what the right term is, but like an AI voice generator to capture David Attenborough's voice and use it to narrate the whole video. And the way those work is like you train, you train the AI tool on samples of audio you have for the person. Yeah, this is ultra hard B2. And then, uh, so you train the model on, you train the AI tool on like David Attenborough's voice, you know, a bunch of audio clips you have of his voice or him saying things into 
you know, recording things purposely for this. And then it can say whatever you want, and it sounds pretty damn close to, to David Attenborough. I was really impressed with that video. And that was just like somebody on the internet making a cool video. So you'd have to imagine like if that technology exists right now and somebody can just do it at like a hobby scale, then Gorilla can totally use like an AI tool and all the audio they have recorded of Lance for silence, Silence's lines. They could uh, create like an AI voice for him that sounds really similar to Silence. Or Lance. Or it could be like a hybrid combination where it's like they use an AI tool. Dang it. They record lines from a real voice actor and then they use some type of AI tool to like adjust it a little bit so it sounds more like Lance. But yeah, Tim, that's a good point. I mean, it's the laws around that sort of stuff are, are weird and not really in place, you know? change anything of the story in either games to make them better? Um, I'm not sure what. I, I wouldn't change anything about Zero Dawn. I think Zero Dawn is excellent. The only thing I would want to change is like make it a little bit slower burn. Like you go through the main quest pretty quick and it'd be cool if it like got pieced together a little bit slower, but I know why they didn't do that. I mean, most people's attention spans aren't that long, so they need to hook you again and again pretty quick. I think I might go back to rematch for a little bit. Forbidden West, I don't know how I would change the story specifically, but what am I doing crafting traps here? Um, hold on. The main thing is I would just like to have had that element of like shock and awe at discovering something that we got in Zero Dawn in Forbidden West. And I think they achieved that somewhat with the Zenus. But I don't know, it was almost revealed like too fast, I guess. Or they were revealed and then like they started being such an important part of the story so quickly that you kind of just got over the initial shock pretty quick.
theories on another DLC truth? Where are you, where are you finding those? On Reddit? Pretzels, I think, so most of the theory crafting around going to Asia is the fact that the Quen are from Asia. And we clearly, like, you know, have done a lot with the Quen now. I don't know why I keep going for traps. Um, so the theory there is that we're going to go to the Quen homeland, basically. Which is totally plausible. How does it look so realistic? They put a lot of time and effort into it. That's basically the essence of how. They have very good, um, from what I understand, Gorilla has very good technical programmers. They call them like tools people in the gaming industry and in gaming studios. So they make like they made the Decima engine, which is the engine that's used to build Horizon. And so they put a lot of time into building like a very good engine so that it runs very efficiently, which allows them to then like use better texture models, use better character models, use better lighting. So that's kind of the basis of why it looks really good, is the Decima engine is really good. Yeah, it is really impressive, Truth. I mean, I'm on performance mode right now. 
I don't really see much of it. After they got that dialed in with like the weird like shimmering stuff after a few months, I really don't see much of a difference between performance mode and resolution mode in terms of like, if you just stand still and look for detail. There is some difference, but it's so minimal because you're always running around fighting things. You really, I personally don't think you're gonna notice it. And to me, the frame rate difference is like way more noticeable. Yeah, pretzels, it is hard to go back to 30 FPS once you're used to 60. There's no doubt about that. I could just get a decent run here. I could probably shave 10 or 15 seconds off my time pretty easily. Truth, you get the ancestors returned by getting all the relic ruins and then bringing them to Stemmer and Hidden Ember. Yeah, pretzels, some element in Forbidden West that like brings back the mystery would have been, I think what made it, would have made it like 100% perfect. But they've said in interviews, like, they knew that was going to be a challenge, and I think that's a challenge for any sequel, right? Like, if you have a banger of a first game or a first book or a first movie or a first episode or season of a show, and there's just all this, like, world building and discovery that happens, then it's so hard to follow that up after that point because you just kind of lose that excitement of discovering the mystery.
Yeah, so the shredder in the ground thing, like, if you watch carefully, they bounce backwards. And then they'll sit on the ground behind you, and they'll just deal damage over time while they're on the ground. So the idea is, like, throw a bunch of them at the ground, get them to stack up under the snake. And then they'll just deal a whole bunch of damage over time. Let's cross it over. Tim, would stagger beams help? Yeah, you can do it with stagger beams. I'm pretty sure the last time, my current best time, although we topped it by like 0.5 earlier, um, but my previous best time, I used stagger beams to deal, to deal damage over time, which you can do, but the shredders, you can do more shredders so they stack faster. So I, I'm pretty sure there's no way you can beat the top few times without doing this technique. right now. Hey, thanks for becoming a member. How do you say your name? Is the four supposed to be an F or an A? BZ, appreciate you becoming a member. one of the shredders going back behind me there.
Love my vids, glad to hear that. So is it Beezy or Bezzy? Beezy, I'm gonna assume. Glad to hear you like the videos. Appreciate you becoming a member. for damage over time. No, they weren't stacking up. Uh, no, the arena doesn't reset after New Game Plus. Or actually, after New Game Plus? Yes, it does. Yeah.
has it locked up. I'm not sure I'm shooting the shredders into ground with quite the right aim. I think I'm close, but maybe it needs to be a little bit like, shallower angle. So they go back further. That's what sucks about this strat. Like, it's so hard to tell if it's working. not even behind me anymore. I'm going to try and see if I can get him next to a wall so I can watch it while I'm doing it. I think, I think that's how Wallison has his best time right now. With the sneak against a wall. Yeah, Jason, it's a it's a pretty annoying strategy, but it is the only way to get like a top three time right now, I think. Basically, you need to stack up a bunch of shredders that sit on the ground and deal damage over time. But you have to get lucky in the sense that you need the snake to kind of stay put so you can stack them all up under him. And yeah, it deals it deals damage faster than any other way that you have because you have a fixed loadout here, and the loadout's kind of garbage. So
I might have to watch Wallace and her fancy pants' run here in a minute to see if I'm forgetting something crucial. I don't think I am. I mean, maybe a different ratio of, like, piercing shredders and acid shredders, but... That's what you really just can't control. What's the machine going to choose to do? Not sitting in the shutters back there. We're all against the wall back here. We're close. getting nearly enough damage here. Then he moved away from the wall. Taser? Uh, I'll probably stream at least another 30 minutes. I'd like to improve my time here on one challenge by a significant amount, at least. choose.
get stuck in the snake. I think it might have overheated. It's getting kind of warm in here. What's wrong with it? The camera itself is on. Let me try. I think it's OBS, because like Windows can see it. I can open the camera app in Windows and I can see it. The problem is, is I don't know how to restart this in OBS without restarting the stream. I think that worked. Just give it a second. There we go. I don't know. That was weird. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Fang did it, high kick? Maybe. All right, let's study the masters here before I try again. I'm going to pull up Wallison and Fancy Pants' best runs here. We'll watch them together.
let me stop the music. I think you guys will be able to hear my browser audio. Let me switch screens.
So Mr. Fancy Pants didn't bother to craft any more piercing shredders. I'm getting kind of tired of the music that I have on this playlist, so I'm gonna turn the arena music back on. So they both deal 61 impact damage. But I guess because you get ticks of acid corrosion also going, maybe it is better to go with corroding shredders as soon as you can. Yeah, high kick. Wallison was doing them off the wall, but I think he really kind of got lucky with the snake basically being right up against that corner. So if you know, if we happen to get that, I'll probably do it, but... I think the big thing was I need to be going at a little bit steeper angle when I do the reverse shredders. trying to kill it as fast as possible. Yeah, Arg, that's what I was thinking too. That you'd get more knockdown, or you'd get knockdown at all from the piercing ones. I might have to do a test here and turn around and see like how much a piercing one does over time damage over time and how much an acid one does. Improved by like four seconds. That's something. Didn't get us another place though. That's right, high kick. A little bit of progress. See, the problem is, is if he moves away from the wall. Well, if he moves at all, you're screwed, I guess, but... He doesn't have to move very far from the wall for it not to work.
trying to test it a little bit. Gliding to the rooftop, top truth? You mean, uh, like to get up on the platform above the, above this platform? Like getting up there? kind of have to aim for the logs that are sticking out like I was showing in my video shouldn't be too bad to get that if you aim for the right spot No, you don't have to cancel the glide. You can just glide into it. I'm gonna back. Yeah, it's, it works the same as, once you get out truth, it works the same as the other two methods. Put everything in your stash, go back, and the challenge.
Nope. I don't think that was faster. Uh, maybe that was a little bit faster. I think we were at 54 something. Still didn't move up the board though. Thought we were going to get one that time. Seemed like it was doing a lot of damage over time. I'm only turning around to check because the delta between me and Slazinger and Wallison right now is so big that I can afford a second to check if it's working <laughs> at this point.
Hey Chaz, good to see you here, man. Is this the first time you've, you've caught a stream? I'm drenched. No frost for me. First time? Cool, man. Glad you could drop in. Hey Alchemist, it's going well. I'm trying to improve my arena times very incrementally here. Hey Gray, good to see you. It's been a little while. I feel like we were doing some pretty good damage over time that time. What is going on with the camera? I'll get it after this match. I don't know why that keeps happening. He's not even in. I'll do it now. That was a bad run.
Yeah, what's happening is the camera's overheating and turning off, and then OBS is like, WTF, mate, where's the camera? So I have to restart the camera and then like flip it in OBS so that it so that it works. It is very warm in here. If I turn the air conditioner on though, you guys are not, you're gonna probably hear like, you know, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, great. See, the thing is, it's a PS5 and then also my PC. And then I have lights and stuff on in here. Like, there's a light here next to the camera. There's lights back there. There's a light over here you guys can't see that's, like, hitting this side of my face. So <laughs> it warms up in here pretty quick. my camera can't handle it. Yeah, high kick. I don't think it likes that I keep throwing shutters at it. I think it's a little cranky about that. Oh. us anymore yeah I don't know why it takes it personal you know it's like it wasn't me who tried to kill you back at that space shuttle oh yeah it was actually It's not even in my shredders. Like, where are they? 
think it flung him all over the place. <laughs> Wind, you're back. You still jittery on coffee? Or did you come down from that? Probably came down from it unless you're still drinking. I don't know if you left before I started to do uh, From the Deep, but I did From the Deep for a while. There's always time for coffee. even on my shredders dude. that's not how this works I'm supposed to stay put it's gonna hurt for longer if you don't just stay put we can rip the band-aid off if you would stop wiggling around and then I'd be done with you Hitting him? Not really. Is you're gonna go play? Have fun. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Mm -hmm. 
See, I hate when you freeze them and they don't get frozen. Like, they don't stop moving. I'm not even hitting them. They're all going over here. Yeah, you can hear the metal banging, the clinking sound when they are hitting damage over time, but sometimes you don't get that audio feedback and they are doing some damage over time, so it's not, it's just really hard to tell. And of course, you don't want to turn around and waste time, but. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Taser. Glad you stopped by to check it out. that first shot. Why is she... Trying to go for a top time, Chaz. Trying to get top three at least. But I am not doing so great. I shaved off like eight seconds. I climbed from ninth to eighth or something like that. Eight, tenth to ninth. <laughs> I haven't done the arena on stream before, so it's definitely a little different. Slightly harder to focus because I'm trying to pay attention to you guys in the chat. You know, I want to chat with you guys. Every time I've done well in the arena, I basically sit down for a few hours and just get in a zone, which we're kind of doing here. I just haven't done this in so long. Especially these challenges. I did the Burning Shores challenges for the video that I made like five or six weeks ago, but I haven't done these challenges in a very long time. Slaughter Spine Truth. Is that your dog? Are 
these landing in the right spot? Yeah, see, they're ticking away, but they're not making sense. So you can't really, you just really have to kind of trust it and not turn around to check. And listening for an audio cue doesn't really do you much good. to not move once you get frozen, dude. That's the whole deal. use the shredder and rematch truth is that the first time you tried it coming because our audio is glitching out you have Tim you just got a new personal best on this nice 130 that's very good the arena is where soldiers are made care to give it a try ready At least like to get under 45 and be in the top five here today. Arg, have you played any Starfield yet? Not 
getting DOT. No, there's no special rewards for top 10. Just bragging rights. That'd be cool if there was, though. Like, even if it was uh, an elite coil or something, every time you got into top 10. At least that would give a legitimate way to farm them. works right you really shouldn't have to even craft any i don't think i don't think wallace or fancy pants crafted any on their best runs you have played arg cool yeah it was i thought it was slow to start too i i played about 12 hours so far i haven't played in a little bit but i thought it was kind of slow at the start and that's what other people said that's what i was saying earlier on on stream um, people say it really doesn't pick up until you're closer to the end of the story with with like mechanics like your ship customization and stuff like that Caleb, you're five hours late. Well, I'm still here. I'm still here. I don't know how much longer, though. I'm getting pretty hungry, and it's getting really hot in this room. I would really like to get a better time here, though. Spending all your credits on plastic surgery, Art. Yeah, I can see that being... The plastic surgery lets you, uh... Dang it. Masochism and addictive, yep. That's how the arena goes. If you want a good time, anyway.
one die, Snake. like one second faster maybe yeah she grabs on automatically truth all right we got under 50 seconds at least that's something we still haven't climbed up the spot though even in my shredders dude please just pretend they're like snake eggs and just sit on them you know isn't that what snakes do or do they just leave the eggs for themselves to fend for themselves The acid ones do do more damage. Because they were, the regular piercing ones were ticking for 51 there, and then the acid ones were ticking, ticking for like over 100. Oh my god. 
I'm just going to use piercing ones until I get a knockdown. And then I'm going to switch to acid. Which is maybe what Wallace and Slazinger were doing. Fancy pants. I probably should have studied their uh, videos a little more before stream, but... I also kind of like to figure it out on my own. Somewhat, at least. see at what point I got drenched, but I was probably nerfing the acid shredders quite a bit. gonna get a better time that time. Too far. Too far. Oh, 
Oh my god, the camera again. Let me fix the camera. There we go. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for today. I was like a little over five hours. Didn't improve my times as much as I wanted to, but we made incremental progress. And uh, I wanted to try doing arena stuff on stream. So hopefully that was somewhat fun for you guys. Um, and hopefully you had fun earlier too. We'll see if I stream again next weekend maybe. Um, and I got a couple videos I'm working on, so thanks for stopping by today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and if you're in the States, you, it's a long holiday weekend, so I hope you enjoy the holiday weekend. If not, um, enjoy the rest of the regular weekend. All right, guys. Take care. See ya.